I have recently started a carnivore diet, trying to eat just strictly steaks and things such as that. But I'll tell you what, in order to do this, you have to go to the bank and take out a small loan because with the inflation rates, everything is right now, it's just impossible just to eat steak alone. This I found out already. So then you have to go to buying lunch meat, which I usually get ham and, and turkey, to kind of offset the price of buying all that high dollar expensive meat like you just saw. But even this is not cheap. I mean, the inflation they're putting on us right now is just, it's just ludicrous. It just really is. And to go with the lunch, I mean, actually you have to buy bread, which I try to stay away from, but it's hard to make a sandwich without bread because I've tried the, the tortillas and the, that other stuff they call it. it. It just, it didn't taste the same to me. I could, yeah, you know, oh well. But I try, also try to buy uh, the uh, cauliflower bread, which is really good, especially when it's toasted. Now, despite my intentions of losing weight and eating the right stuff, now we're back to the fat boy stuff, I call it. The mayonnaise and the mustard, which is processed food just like a lot of the others. And it does not help me when I'm trying to lose weight. But how can you make a sandwich without mayonnaise and mustard? Yeah, I can't. I eat a lot of these little pork steaks like you see right here because they're real easy to uh, throw on a plate and season up and, and then uh, end up grilling them in my, in my kitchen griller. And they turn out real good. Besides that, I got tired of it. I was buying chicken breast and deep frying them, but then again, here again, cooking in that grease is, is fattening and that's not good for you. So I, besides that, I got burned out on chicken. So I just kind of went and replaced it with these pork steaks. I also eat a lot of boiled shrimp from Kroger, the medium size like you see right here as well. Uh, and I put a little bit of sea salt and uh, pepper on them and I even cheat and use cocktail sauce, which I probably shouldn't because that's fattening and it's processed food as well. But, you know, you can't get away from it. I don't care how hard you try. You just can't get away from processed food, at least some of it anyway. But I, I like I like shrimp too. I love shrimp. Matter of fact, I can eat shrimp any way you cook it in a restaurant, at home, or wherever. I love shrimp. <laughs> I also like to eat a lot of salads. And I used to buy a lot of uh, stuff like lettuce and broccoli and and a lot of leafy greens, but they would always spoil before I could use them all. So I quit buying those. And I pretty much use, for my salad, what you see right here, just uh, diced onions, Mexican uh, shredded cheese, tomatoes. And then I'll cut up uh, some of that ham that you saw earlier, shred it all up and put it in there. And then I'll use the uh, a, a teaspoon or so of uh, olive oil, and I have, and then I have to use my definitely have to use my uh, raspberry salad dressing, raspberry vinaigrette. Yeah, buddy, got to have that. <laughs> as far as salt goes, I do not use regular salt, and I haven't used it in years. And in its place, I use this no salt because it has no sodium in it whatsoever. And it, it cooks and tastes exactly like the real deal. I've read the ingredients on the back and I can't find anything that says anything about containing sodium. Now, whether the manufacturer lying or not, that's another story. Now, the black pepper over, you see on the left, I buy it in the bulk and it's just gotten outlandish at the store. That one container right there at Kroger is 15 bucks and and plus tax for for that one pound size right there unbelievable unbelievable hopefully everything's going to change here pretty soon for all of our grocery needs and all of the other inflationary stuff that's just skyrocketed and uh, all we can do is pray and hope that it does and i'm sure it will so with that i want to end this video and I appreciate you stopping by and watching my video. These are just a few things that I'm trying to do to lose weight and some of the things that I eat. And I just want to share that with you. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next video.